what is actually liquidation liquidation means closing down of the business is called liquidation it may be compulsory liquidation or voluntary liquidation if this word is not there even the preferential credit are also unsecured you have to pay 2% on unsecured credit or 2% on preferential credit are surplus from the building the building value is 3 lakh 40 thousand but payment of loan secure loan is so much 1 lakh 60 thousand how much surplus is there 1 lakh 80 thousand I am Dr. B. S. Subramanya, called by name Dr. B. S. S., Professor in Commerce and Management, Vidyashram First Aid College, a Temple of Excellence, Mysuru. Today, I am going to hand become third semester Corporate Accounting Session 3. I am going to solve two problems. One is liquidation and another is called redemption of preferential. We will move on to problem now. So, what is actually liquidation? Liquidation means closing down of the business is called liquidation. It may be compulsory liquidation or voluntary liquidation closed down. When the company closes, what is the first step to do? A man is appointed, a legal advisor is appointed called the liquidator. What is the duty of that liquidator? He wants to know what is the value of the asset at the time of liquidation. What is the value of the liability at the time of liquidation? What is the first step? He wants to ascertain what is the value at the time of liquidation? What is the value of the asset at the time of liquidation? What is the value of the liability at the time of liquidation? So once you know that, he has to pay the money to outsider. So according to the Companies Act of 2013, the payment has to be made. It should be followed like this. I will tell you the format of that. First, he has to pay the liquidator, what's called le secure creditor. First, he has to pay. Then he has to pay legal expenses. Then he has to pay liquidator remuneration, percentage on asset realized, percentage on unsecured creditor, even preferential creditor also unsecured. So what is the step? First is secure creditor, security on the plant and machinery, something on the building is there. Then legal expenses, liquidator remuneration, percentage on asset realized, percentage on unsecured creditor. Then you have to pay the liquidation expenses, liquidation expenses paid. You have to pay the debenture value, that is the debenture amount, their interest, then preferential creditor. In the bracket, we say income tax, the preferential creditor, then unsecured creditor. Then preferential capital, their dividend. If the amount is left over, that goes to equity shareholder. I will repeat. When the company liquidate, a man is appointed called liquidator, a legal advisor of the company. He wants to know that what is the value of the asset, what is the value of the liability. Liquidation means closing down of the business, complete closing down of the business. So doors are closed now. So we want to find out what is the value of the asset. What's the value of the liability before selling the asset? So what he wants to know that how much liability the company has to pay to outsider. So he will sell the asset one by one to raise the cash at bank. Once the money has been cash at bank is raised, he is going to pay. Payment will be made. How the payment will be made? First, he has to pay to secure creditor. Then he has to pay the legal expenses. Then he has to pay the liquidator remuneration, percentage on asset realized, percentage on unsecured creditor, even preferential creditor also, unsecured is there. Then you have to pay the liquidation expenses. Then you have to pay the debenture, that is the debenture value, their interest. Then you have to pay the preferential creditor. In the bracket, we can say income tax is a preferential creditor. Then you have to pay the unsecured creditor. Then you have to add the two percent left over is one the preference shareholder and the, the two types of shareholder available in the company is one is the preference shareholder and is an equity shareholder. Equity shareholders are permanent shareholder, whereas preference shareholders are temporary shareholder. But their money should be paid, their dividend should be paid first. If any amount is left over, that goes to equity shareholder. This is the procedure. So. I will move on to problem now. This is the problem. So he says the following is the balance sheet of Durga Limited went into voluntary liquidation on 31st December 2012. So this is lovely. 8% preferential 100 is 5 lakh, 3000 equity share of 103 lakh has been paid. 
2000 equity share 100 is 70 paid up 8 percent debenture that is a rate of interest loan on mortgage and building means building has been pledged the payment of security loan is only 1 lakh 60000 creditor 80000 unsecured income tax is considered as preferential creditor come back to trade side building value is 3 lakh this is 3 lakh rupees Missionary 4 lakh, investment is the following, profit and loss account is nothing but a loss of the company. Then we'll have an adjustment. The preference dividend were in arrears for 3 years are payable as liquidation. The asset realized by when the time has been liquidation, asset has been sold. This is the asset has been sold, amount has been realized. The expenses of liquidation amounted to rupees 15,000. Legal expenses 5000, the liquidator was entitled to a remuneration of 3% and all assets realized except cash 2% amount paid to unsecured creditor. Other than preferential creditor, the problem says don't take the preferential creditor for the remuneration. Other than if the word is not there, you have to take even the preferential creditor. So, I think understand that. Shall I will repeat that? If this word is not there, even the preferential creditor also unsecured. You have to pay 2% on unsecured creditor, 2% on preferential creditor. But the problem says other than means don't take the preferential creditor. Then assume that all the payments were made on 30th June 2020. So your balance sheet. On 31st December, all the payments were made on 30th June means after 6 months. This is only for debenture interest. If you see the question, no, you have got 8% debenture, 2 lakh is there. So, we have got 2 lakh is the debenture value. This is 2 lakh into 8 by 100 percentage, how many months? 6 months. So it is 8,000. You have to pay 8,000. What is the debenture interest now? 2 lakh, 8 by 8,000. Here, calculation equation, 3 percent on asset realized, he says. If you so see that, this is the asset realized. If we add this, no, it will come 11,90,000. How much percentage? 3%, 35,700. 2% paid to unsecured creditor, 80,600. It will work out 37,300. Remuneration is payable. Leaving what? Preferential creditor. Then you have got 5%, 5 lakh is there. So arrears of dividend for how many years? 3 years is there. What is the amount here? You got 5 lakh preference dividend. You can say that. Preference dividend. 5 lakh. See the percentage? 8%. 8 by 100. How many years? 3 years. So, 8 phase of 40 means 1,20,000. So, what is 1,20,000 is the dividend we have to pay. So, totally we have to pay 5 lakh plus 1,20,000. Then, if you see the problem now, here your land and building is 3 lakh. But there is a word loan on non mortgage of 1,60,000 means Secured is only 1,60,000 is payable. So, we will go with the answer. Liquidator statement on 30th June. Liquidator statement. So, surplus from the building, the building value is 3,40,000, but payment of loan, secure loan is how much? 1,60,000. How much surplus is there? 1,80,000. So, other asset realized, plant and machinery 3,50,000, stock 1,70,000, debt are 80,000, cash already in a, what's called in the balance sheet 50,000. So, totally it is 10,80,000. So, first you have to pay the secure creditor, but it has been pledged on the asset, it has been taken here. Because if it is not pledged, it would have been written secure creditor here. So, 
payment of securities how much 160000 asset pledged how much 340000 how much surplus you got 180000 you all you pledged asset to the value of 340000 how much security payment you have to make only 160000 how much surplus is there 180000 other asset realize 850000 cash box in your balance sheet already in the cash you have got 50000 then go with the payment go with the payment first secure creditor however then legal expenses is 5000 liquidate or remuneration this is as per working note 37300 is the order of payment then go to liquidation expenses 15000 debenture holder 8% debenture is 2 lakh and interest is 8000 totally we have to pay 2 lakh 8000 income tax is nothing but preferential creditors eight percent debenture is 2 lakh then then interest is 8000 for that is working out for 6 months 2 lakh 8000 is paid out of 10 lakh 80000 so much money is paying then creditor is 80000 refund of prefer so we have so we pay the outsider the 2% left over is one is the preference shareholder another is the equity shareholder preference share capital is 5 lakh dividend we have to pay 1 lakh 20000 is there then whatever the amount left over first is no we have got refund of uh, capital here amount left over is 94440 is the 440 is there then totally this is refund of excess capital here see that 3000 equity share of 100 each 3 lakh another 2070 has been paid up 3000 has been paid how much money they have paid actually 3000 equity share of 100 each the 3 lakh they have been paid 2000 equity share of 100 each 70 they have been paid it is 1 lakh 40000 you pay back 30 rupees here to make equal so 3000 30 is 90000 is payable here here you are paying how much 90000 arrears of preference and dividend is this refund of capital 30000 into this that is 90000 is there then you have got 94000 for this if you add no it will get how much is refunded 90000 how much is left over 4700 is left over for how many shares you have got see that you got a shares of 3000 plus 5000 it is 4700 is left over here is 94470 total out of the 90000 has been paid if you add all this thing no you got 10 lakh 80000 minus 5000 so 10 lakh 80000 minus 5000 minus uh, 10 lakh 80000 minus 5000 minus 37300 minus 15000 minus 2 lakh 8000 minus 5 lakh minus 1 lakh 20000 Amount of turnover is ninety-four thousand seven four seventy. If we pay this, all these things, you know, left over is ninety-four thousand four seventy left over. Out of that, how much you refunded? Ninety thousand four thousand seven hundred is ninety-four thousand. Ninety-four thousand seven hundred is will be there. Ninety-four thousand seven hundred will be there. How much money will be refunded? Ninety thousand. How much left over? Only four thousand seven hundred is left over. So equity shareholder will get here four thousand seven hundred divided by this amount gone. Four thousand refund of capital equity shareholder four thousand seven hundred divided by ninety-four paisa. It will come four thousand seven hundred will come. So each member here say that ten lakh eighty thousand. Whom to pay first? Legal expenses because secured creditor has been taken here. Then you have to pay liquidator remuneration. Then liquidation expenses. Then you have to pay the debenture two lakh eight thousand. Then you have to pay the income. This is the income tax is a preferential creditor. Then you have to pay the creditor unsecured creditor. Then refund of the preferential holder their capital. And their dividend, so yeah, the amount left over is ninety-four thousand seven hundred. Refund the excess amount, 
refund of excess capital to equity shareholder is 30 rupees, 3030 is 90,000. How much left over? 4,700. For how many share? 5,000. Each shareholder get how much? 94 paisa, this 4,700. So it is not there, only 4,700 is there. If you pay me, no, what is amount left over is 94,700. How much refunded? 90,000. How much left over? 4,700 left over. That goes to equity shareholder. How many shares are there? 5,000. How much money left over? 4,700. Each member get how much? 94 paisa per share. 94 paisa per share. They got only 4,700. Actually, they paid. See that what I did now? Here 3,000 share 100 each. Now I refunded 30, 90,000 I refunded. So they got only 2 lakh 10,000. This is 1 lakh 40,000 is there. So how much money we have to pay? But how much available? Only 4,700 is available. That's all. That pays to equal. Remaining whatever the balance comes, that is nothing but the last to the shareholder. I can explain that. Here, if you see the question now, it is 3 lakh is there. Out of 3 lakh, you refunded 90,000. Balance is 2 lakh, 10,000 is payable. Another shareholder we have to pay here, 1 lakh, 40,000. Totally, you have to pay 3 lakh, 70,000. We have to pay. But only amount available is only 4,700. Remaining is a loss. Only we are going to pay how much money here? Only amount available, 90,000 is refinement. How much available? 4,700. That goes to 5,000 shareholder. Each shareholder get only 94 paisa per share. Here, 4,700 divided by 94. 94 paisa per share. 94 paisa per share we are going to get. So, whatever the difference comes, what I did know here, after the payment of outsider, how much money left over? 94,700. I refunded the one man paid 100 rupees, another man paid 70 to make equal. I paid back how much money? I paid back 30 rupees for how many share? 3,000 share. How much available? 90,000 has been refunded. How much available? 4,700. So, entire 4,700 divided by how many shareholder? 5,000 shareholder equally. Each shareholder get how many paisa? 0.94 per share, 0.94, 94 paisa per share, whatever the remaining balance comes, the entire amount is lost to the equity shareholder because they are the permanent shareholder, they are the permanent shareholder. So if you see that here, we can understand 3 lakh how much refunded, 90,000, 2 lakh, 10,000 left over, 1 lakh from the totally 3 lakh, 70,000 we have to pay, but we are paying how much? Only? You are just paying 4,700, you are paying nothing but a loss. The remaining is nothing but a loss to the shareholder to the extent of 5,000. I am not showing the loss, how much they are getting, no. So, 4,700 left over for how many shareholder? 5,000 shareholder. Each shareholder gets how much? 94 paisa per share. So, this is the way you have to do it. So, this point you have to understand. You secured how much money? 3 lakh 40,000 and building, but actually payment of loan is only 1 lakh 60,000. How much surplus is there? 1 lakh 80,000. Then other assets have been realized already in the cash in bank. 5,000 is there, 50,000 is there. Pay, payment should be made to outsider. Legal secured credit are already deducted here. Legal expenses, liquidator remuneration, then liquidation expenses. Then this is on asset realized, this is on unsecured creditor, then liquidation expenses. Next, you have to pay the debenture holder, debenture value, their interest, income tax, the preferential creditor. Then you have to pay the unsecured creditor. Sundry creditor means unsecured. Then you have to pay back to the preferential holder. So preferential shareholder value. So PS means preferential shareholder. How much you have to pay? 5 lakh is the face value. Their dividend is 1 lakh 20,000. The amount left over is 94,700. How much is refunded? 90,000 has been refunded. How much left over? 4,700 has been left over. That goes to 5,000 shareholder. Each shareholder get how many pay? How much money? 94 paisa per share. 94 paisa per share. So they get only 94 paisa per share they are going to get. 
So it's not, other things are lost to them now. Only amount available is only 4,000. Whatever the balance comes, the entire amount lost to the equity shareholder. We'll move on to next problem. So the following is the balance sheet of Nisarga Company Limited as on 31 2020. You got 40,000 10% redeemable preference share of 10 each 4 lakh. Then 50,000 equity share of 10 each fully paid 5 lakh. Profit and loss account 2 lakh. General reserve 2 lakh 50,000. Security premium 50,000. Credit are 18,000. This is the asset you are having. Then what is the question now? On the above date, preference shares were redeemed at a premium of 10%. In order to facilitate the redemption of preference share, the company sell the investment for this 3 lakh 50,000. They will issue the 20,000 equity share at a premium too. So, in the redemption of preference share, Two points you have to bear in mind. First, have the issue the share for the balance, you have to create the CRR. CRR should means capital redemption reserve should be created with the help of reserve, with the help of profit and loss account. So there are two points. Whether issue the share for the balance, create the CRR. First, create the CRR for the balance, what's called issue the share. So this is which are the sources No, Sources. Of funds. Number one, general reserve. Number two, profit and loss account. These are two. So, which are the source of fund? One is the general reserve, one is the profit and Last account. What the last says no, when you want to pay back the division, what's called preference shareholder, if we see that your preference share capital is, what's your preference share capital? 4 lakh. Redemption of preference share. Oh, face value 4 lakh. Premium 10% 40,000. Totally, you have to pay back 4 lakh 40,000 is payable. Preferent redeem means pay back. You pay back what the law says no. Preferent shareholder should be paid back either at a par or at a premium, but not at a discount. I will repeat the word. Preference share amount should be paid either at a par, same value, or at a premium, but not at a discount. That is a law we have to pay. Here, what is your face value? 4 lakh. How much premium is payable? 10% means totally you have to pay 4 lakh 40. Though. What the law says in? Premium should be paid out of the equity share premium. If the equity share premium is not available, that can be paid out of the profit and loss account. If the sufficient amount is not available in the profit and loss account, you can utilize the general reserve for this part. What is your face value for lakh? In your general reserve, you got 2 lakh 50,000. In your profit and loss account, you have got 2 lakh. 2 lakh is there. But here, what is the value of the investment is 4 lakh? It has been sold for 3,50,000. So 4 lakh has been sold for 3,50,000 means how much loss we suffered 50,000. So here your profit and loss account is 2 lakh. How much loss already suffered 50? How much available? Only 1,50,000. But in the general reserve you have got 2,50,000. But the point here, no? Here the point here. First, 20,000 equity share of 10 each at a premium of 2 rupees per share is already issued. So, shares issued, twenty thousand into rupees two into rupees ten face value. This is two lakh plus premium twenty thousand into rupees two. 40,000. So, you got how, how much money? 2,40,000 is there. So, 
what is the total amount payable for lakh how much face value is available to lakh premium to premium you pay the premium to premium you can pay on equity share premium account debt or to preference share premium you can pay what is the amount to be payable face value for lakh how much available to lakh for another to lakh you create the crr with the help of general reserve and profit and loss account if you see your general reserve in the general reserve how much is there to lakh 50000 you take how much money 2 lakh so 2 lakh plus 2 lakh become the 4 lakh we can create the 4 lakh premium to premium here redemption of preference share you got 4 lakh 43 how much is this is payable this is available we can pay the premium to premium how the entry goes now i'll tell you first entry you are you are issuing the share Bank account debt or twenty thousand into twelve two lakh forty thousand to equity share capital two lakh to security premium forty thousand being the issue of share. Then you sold the investment of rupees four lakh to the extent of three lakh fifty thousand at a loss of fifty thousand entry bank account debt or profit and loss account debt or to investment account four lakh entry bank account debt or. Profit and loss account data to investment account. Now, preference share premium can be paid out of the equity share premium. Security premium account data to premium on redemption of preference share. How much? Forty thousand. Premium to premium is clear. Or say face value to be clear is four lakh. How much already available? Two lakh. Another two lakh is required. So general reserve account data to CRR account. This is your two lakh. General reserve account debt are two lakh to CRR account two lakh creation. You create the CRR entry. General reserve account debt are two lakh to CRR account debt are two lakh. We created the CRR. So already available two lakh. You created the CRR to the extent of two lakh. Totally it becomes four lakh now. So four lakh has been cleared. So I think understand you already available how much. Two lakh. How much shortage? Two lakh. You create the CRR with the help of the general reserve. Your general reserve is how much? Two lakh fifty thousand. How much you can take? Two lakh. So create the CRR. Two lakh to the extent of two lakh. So totally it become four lakh. Now redeem the preference share. Redeem the preference share entry. Redeemable preference share capital account debt are four lakh. Premium amount redemption of preference share premium account forty thousand to redeemable preference share order four lakh forty. It's only transfer entry. What is entry? Redeemable preference share capital account data. Redeemable preference share premium account data to redeemable preference share holder account four lakh forty thousand. Pay up now. Redeemable preference share holder account data to bank account four lakh forty thousand. Pay down. Then I will repeat. By issuing the insurance, by issuing the in what's called share twenty thousand share. What's your face value in at a premium of twelve? So two lakh forty thousand. So twenty. This is twenty thousand into ten. This is twenty thousand into two. What's the entry? Bank account data to equity share capital. To equity share premium. Then we sold the investment first by four lakh, three lakh, fifty thousand at a loss of fifty thousand. Bank account data, profit and loss account data to investment account. Then you, from the preferred equity share premium, that is called security premium. Pay the preferred share premium, security premium account data from this forty thousand. Utilize this forty thousand security premium account data premium on redemption preference share forty thousand so premium is clear. Or your face value four lakh. How much already available two lakh? How much you require another two lakh? Create the CRR general reserve account data two lakh to CRR capital rip capital rip being CRR created to the extent of how much two lakh. Now pay back redeemable preference share capital account data. To four lakh redeemable preference share premium account debt are forty thousand to redeemable preference share holder account four lakh forty thousand. So transfer entry now pay back redeemable preference share holder account debt are to bank account. Then we'll go to balance sheet now. You already got how many share five five lakh share. Now we have issued the two lakh now it becomes seven lakh now seven lakh rupees seventy thousand share 
then profit and loss account you have got 2 lakh by say, selling the investment account you got a suffer a loss of 50000 This is two lakh become one lakh fifty thousand. This is general reserve now. C R R two lakh plus left in general reserve fifty thousand. Totally two lakh fifty thousand. General reserve means you create the C R R to the extent two lakh left over in general reserve is fifty thousand become two lakh fifty thousand. You can write like this general reserve in the bracket C R R two lakh. Left in the general reserve is fifty thousand. Totally, it becomes two lakh fifty thousand. Share premium fifty thousand. Then credit are four lakh is there. If we go with the entries now, then how many security premium is there available? Fifty thousand. You are not utilized now. Forty thousand has been utilized. How much is there? Fifty thousand in the here as per the balance sheet. Credit are payable is four lakh. Totally, it will come fifteen lakh. Fifty thousand. This is your total source. Uh, pay assets. Goodwill is there. Planted machinery, furniture, stock, data, cash at bank. We see that cash at bank. No, your bank account says no two lakh forty thousand here. Two lakh forty thousand. Then if you come to bank. Three lakh fifty thousand. This one. So four lakh ninety thousand. How much you paid? Four lakh forty thousand. Here two lakh forty thousand. This is five lakh ninety thousand. Four lakh forty thousand pay means one lakh fifty thousand available. Uh, already in your cash at bank, how much is there? See that two lakh fifty thousand. Plus two lakh fifty thousand, it become four lakh. Same four lakh has come here. See that this is the four lakh. So aside goodwill is fifty thousand. Plant and machinery same thing is there. Furniture is same. Stock is same. Investment won't come because it has been sold. Debt are same. Cash at bank. So it is cash at bank become the four lakh. It will tally for fifteen lakh ten. So total application. Applied. What's the total source? Fifteen lakh. It has been applied. Fifteen lakh fifty thousand. Very easy to do that. You must see that general reserve. We can create the CRR. We can write CRR in the balance. You can write general reserve. General reserve in the bracket CRR. How much? Two lakh. Left in the general reserve is fifty thousand. Totally, it becomes two lakh fifty thousand. Security premium available in the balance sheet is not utilized. Is fifty thousand. Credit are is remains the same. Then. Come back to asset side. Goodwill remains the same. Machinery because it is not sold, no appreciation, no depreciation. Furniture remains the same. Stock remains the same. Data cash at bank. You already got two lakh fifty thousand. See that working out two lakh forty thousand. You got then you have got three lakh fifty. It become five lakh ninety thousand. How much you paid? Four lakh forty thousand has been paid. How much available? One lakh fifty thousand. In your cash at bank is two lakh fifty thousand. Totally cash at bank becomes the four lakh. This is the four lakh. So it will tally for fifteen lakh fifty thousand. Two major points to bear in mind: the redemption of preference share, preference share capital should be paid off either at a bar or at a premium, but not at a discount. It should be fully paid. It should be fully paid also. Then the next point to be bear in mind: whether we have issued the share, if we issue the share. For the balance of payment, you create the CRR. CRR with the help of general reserve and profit and loss account. First, if you create the CRR for the balance, issue the share. I will repeat this one. Only two points to be remember. If you issue the share for the balance, you create the CRR. If you create the CRR for the balance, issue the share. Which are the two points? If you issue the share for the balance, you create the CRR. If you create the CRR. For the balance, issue the share. If which so here CRR can be created with the help of the two sources of fund, which are the source of fund are one the general reserve and profit and loss account can be utilized. General reserve account it are profit and loss account it are to CRR. Preference share premium should be paid out of the equity share premium. If the equity share premium is not available, we can have from the profit and loss account or we can have from the general reserve also. 
But first utilize the PNL account. If it is not sufficient, then you can utilize the general reserve. But 99% so preference share premium will be paid out of the equity share premium. So the two sources are one is the general reserve, one is the profit and loss account. Utilize and create the CRR. If they create the CRR for the balance, issue the share. If we issue the share for the balance, create the CRR. Have this mind near you. It is easy to solve this problem. I solved all the four problems. In the last session, I solved the 15 mass 2 problem. This session, I have solved another two problems. So, entire four problems. Have, entire question paper has been answered. You go with the theory help. It may help you in there. So, theory question will be repeated from the question paper only. So, we'll have a separate notes for that. Hope our Vidyashram students definitely will have a PDF notes, no problem at all. So, that you go through this problem and you have solved from the examination of point two, definitely it will help you. Please study well, bring the good name to institution, bring name to your parent, good name to your teacher. So thank you, thank you once again. Best of luck in the examination. Go through one or two times, better to go through. Work out, accountancy is not at all intelligent. It's only hard work, it's only hard work. Work more and more, bring the good name to institution, bring the good name to your parent and good name to your What's called teachers also, we feel very happy. Thank you.